is one of your goals, either for yourself or your athletes, um, or the next goal, to break 20 minutes or to run a sub-20 minute 5K. Hey everybody, it's Coach Jason. I hope you're all doing well. For those of you that don't know me, my name's Jason. I'm a running coach. Um, I have competed and coached at the high school, collegiate, and post-collegiate level. I'm a USATF certified track and field coach. You'll see the credential in my YouTube profile. And I'm also a Wharton certified musculoskeletal flexibility therapist. So not only is my uh, my motivation helping you run faster, but it's also keeping you healthy while you do it so you can continue to progress. Okay, today I want to talk about a sub 20 minute 5K. I'm going to go over a detailed 12 week training program. Okay, I'm also going to be putting out a sub 19 minute, which will be my next video, detailed training program. And in the description down below, you'll see sub 18, sub 17, sub 16, and sub 15 of uh, all 5K training programs, all detailed by the day in the week, 12 weeks long. Okay. The reason why I do 12 weeks is I break it into three segments, four weeks each for us. Three segments of four weeks. So you have, because it takes about 21 to 28 days to adapt to a certain training stimuli before you kind of change things. So for periodization purposes, I broke it up this way to give you different training stimuli uh, in four week blocks so that your training doesn't become stale and so that you can adapt to the work and put yourself in the, in the position to run your best when it counts the most. Okay. So with that, let's get to this. I also have the training paces broken down here as well, which I will go over in detail as well. Okay. So week one, okay, Monday's going to be five miles. You'll see a consistent easy day on Monday all across the board. Okay. Now the mileage might be low, might be high. I generally recommend between 30 and 36 miles per week. You'll see six days of running one week and five days of running the following week with an additional cross training day, and then there'll be an off day every week. So it averages six miles a day, whether you're running five a day, I mean five a week, or six days a week. Okay, um, that's generally average. Some people need more, some people do uh, do it with less. So it's really up to you of what fits best for yourself and your athletes. But generally, this is a good average and a good kind of number. Uh, and I've used it for several kids at the high school level to get them, even get the beginner level to get them under 20 and 19 and 18 and stuff. So. Five miles on Monday. Tuesday, 1.5 mile warm up, okay? Um, eight by 100 meter uphill runs. The focus here is speed development in this first four week block, okay? Uphill runs are gonna be a decent uphill grade like this. Nothing too steep, nothing more flat, okay? This is uh, it's a, sh a shorter hill, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna be leaning into the hill, but you're gonna stay upright, and the focus is to pump the arms and to, and to lift the knees up. And the focus is running fast. These are 100 meter real, uh, hills, okay? It may take a few reps to get adapt, uh, you're adapted to it, Okay, well, what I would encourage you to do is progress, get a little bit faster each rep if you can, and you'll find your rhythm. Okay, uh, but the goal here is to develop leg power, which in turn will help with speed development, which will help with running efficiency. Okay, you're going to jog down for an easy recovery, um, and then you're going to run one 800 meter effort at 5k pace. Now, for a sub 20 minute 5k, it's essentially about 624 per mile. Okay, this training program is positioned you to port to run about 1950. Okay, so I'm giving you a little bit of margin of error. So that 800 meter will be about a 311. Okay, that's the goal. Um, and then you're going to do a cool down of 1.5 miles. The reason why I have it here instead of there is to lock in, is to get you to run your goal race pace when you're already fatigued after doing the hills. It's great doing it early, but it's also important doing it late. Okay, that's why I have it here. Okay, seven miles steady on Wednesday, and you see here steady, uh, you have easy, steady, and threshold. Your steady pace is 8.15 to 7.45 per mile. Your easy runs, um, 8.45 to 8.15 per mile. That's the pace range you should be in, okay? And how do I establish this? Essentially, um, with a one-mile time trial of 5.48 to 5.45, this is a mile you should be able to run if your fitness indicates that you're ready to break 20 minutes for 5K, okay? I'm also going to put a video down below called the one-mile time trial. It'll tell you exactly what your fitness is. Okay, and exactly, I have another video on how to set the appropriate training paces for you or your athletes based on a one mile time trial so that you're not training at somebody else's pace range because your recovery is going to be different than theirs and vice versa. It's important to be training at the right paces for you so you can achieve your goals. The last thing you want to do is be training with sub 18 minute people here or sub 23 minute people here. Okay, you want to be training in the right pace ranges with the right people if you can. Okay, so back to this. So seven miles steady, six miles easy. Friday, 1.5 miles. How do you go on hard twice a week? Okay, two quality sessions a week. Okay, uh, drills and strides, which is D slash S, which is just plyometric movements to help you get loosened up and ready to run fast. Okay, 
eight by 200 meter efforts on the flat. So this is uphill speed development, flat speed development, okay? And for here, it's gonna be 60 seconds recovery at 3K pace. Your 3K equivalent here is 6.10 to 6.08 per mile. Okay, so these are essentially gonna be about 46 seconds per 200 meter effort. With a 60 second recovery, active recovery if you can, 1.5 mile cool down, okay? And then eight mile long run rolling if possible on Saturday. Off day is on Sunday, okay? Now, remember, if you're training for your absolute first 5K, I'm also gonna put a video down below of how to train for your first, absolute first 5K if you have no running experience. It's gonna be different than this, okay? This is if you've been running a little bit and your next goal is a sub 20 minute 5K. You can use this program and compare it to your current training to see what's, seen, what's similar and what's different. You might be able to find a few things on here to adopt. Okay, whatever you want to do, you can utilize it to make your own. Okay, so keep that in mind. Um, week two, same five miles easy on Monday. Tuesday, 1.5 mile warm up, drills and strides. 10 by 100 meter uphill run. So we're adding two reps to what you did last week. Okay, same exact type of flow intensity. Okay, leaning upright, leaning into it, staying upright, pumping your arms, lifting your knees. And then jog down recovery, and then you're also going to run an 800 meter effort at 5K pace again. So shooting for 310, 311. Okay. Again, running goal pace when you're already fatigued. 1.5 mile cool down. Here's your bike and swim day. Okay, if you have access to a bike or a pool, I encourage you to do it. Okay, 40 to 45 minutes. If you don't, then just do an easy 40, easy 40 minute run. Okay, on the grass if you if it's available. Okay, um, the goal is to be doing something six days per week. All right, uh, seven miles uh, easy on fr on Thursday, and then um, Friday 1.5 mile warm up again, drills and strides. Six by 300 meters on the flat now. So we add a little bit of distance, but you're going to still run them at 3K pace. Just a little more at the same pace, okay? And it's the same, you know, 610 to 608 per mile pace. So if you break it down, it's going to be about 69 seconds or 139 per 300 meter effort, okay? 1.5 mile cool down. Six miles rolling on Saturday, nice and easy. Off day on Sunday. It's going to be a consistent off day Sunday, consistent easy day on Monday. Week three, five miles on Monday. Tuesday, 1.5 mile warm up, drills and strides. Six by 200 meter uphill runs now. So we're going a little bit longer on the uphills. Same exact focus, okay? Jog down recovery to recover. And then on the back end, we're gonna run a thousand meter effort, okay? One by 1,000 meter effort at 5K pace with a 1.5 mile cool down. Now, easiest way to calculate this, 5K, 20 minutes. You break it up into five pieces, that's four minutes per kilometer, okay? But the goals running here is 1950, and you can run at four minutes. I would say between four minutes and 3.58 would be the goal, okay? Which will put you exactly at your goal 5K pace, okay? After doing the hills. 1.5 mile cool down. Seven miles steady Wednesday. Six miles easy Thursday. 1.5 mile warm up Friday. Drills and strides. And we're going to do eight, by 10 by, eight to 10 by 400 meters with a one minute recovery at 3K pace. So if you look at 3K pace here, you're looking at about 132, okay? 400 okay 132 okay so again here it's 69 actually it's 109 not 139 109 for the 300s 132 for the 400s okay 3k pace one minute recovery active 1.5 mile cool down so we're gonna add, again getting a little bit more in distance here but maintaining the same pace just building on the same pace okay last thing you want to do is increase a uh, run more volume and more intensity at the same time it's ideal to do either one, okay, to give yourself a chance to adapt. That's why we're doing that. Eight mile long run, okay, on Saturday, rolling if possible, off day Sunday. Week four, five miles easy Monday, 1.5 mile warm up Tuesday, drills and strides. We're going to go eight by 200 meter uphill run, so we're adding two reps to the uphill runs, the same exact focus, okay? Jog equal recovery, and then another 1,000 meter rep at 5K pace on the back end, so sub four minutes, so ideally 358 ish. Around there, 1.5 mile cool down. Okay, again, this is running a little bit longer, a longer segment on the back end at your goal pace. That's just a sign of improving fitness. Okay, the bike and swim, 40 to 45 minutes on Wednesday. So, again, we're doing that every other week on Wednesday. Okay, um, six miles on Thursday, nice and easy. Friday, 1.5 mile warm up, drills and strides. And now we're gonna test yourself a little bit. You're gonna run a two kilometer at your goal 5K pace to see if you're progressing along the way. So break it up, you're looking to get under eight minutes, so maybe around 7.55 or something like that for your two kilometer effort, okay? 
um, five to six minute active recovery, then four by 600 meter efforts with a two minute recovery at 5k pace down to 3k pace, okay? So from 623 per mile down to about 608 per mile, okay, for a 600 meter effort, okay? Uh, with a 1.5 mile cool down. You have to do a little bit of math to calculate some of these numbers, but breaking down is pretty easy, pretty easy. Um, six miles again on Saturday, rolling nice and easy, and on Sunday's an off day. So this first four week block, we got used to the got used to the system, got used to the consistency, consistent days here and there, two workouts, two recovery days in between the workouts. Okay, go do some long runs. Okay, and again modify the distance as as needed as you feel most appropriate. But started the uh, hill speed development on the hills and on the flats. Okay, now we're going to transition into the next four week block. So I'll take this down, and I'm going to put the next one up. Okay, now this will be a little bit more of an intense phase. It'll allow you to transition into some more intense training. Okay, week five, five miles always easy on Monday. Tuesday, 1.5 miles warm up drills and strides. Now you're going to do two sets. We're going to break it up into pieces of seven by 400. So total of 14 400 meter efforts. Okay, but you're going to take a 60 minute, a 60 second recovery after the first, in between each rep, okay, and then after your seventh rep, you take three minutes, and then you repeat the second set, okay? They're going to be from 5K to 3K pace. Now, remember your paces here, okay? And I'm going to point this over here, just so I can refer to it, okay? Uh, excuse me, I'll put it back over here. Your paces, again, 5K pace, I'll look it down here, about 623, okay, down to 608 per mile pace. Um, and then a 1.5 mile cooling. This is just rhythm running, rhythm running, rhythm running, keeping you at 5K and getting a little bit faster to get you used to these paces, okay? Seven miles steady on Wednesday, six miles easy on Thursday. Now we're adding five by 50 meter strides, okay, in this block here, okay, on Thursday after the easy mile. Friday, 1.5 mile warm up, drills and strides. Now you're going to do a two by two mile tempo, okay? Four miles of total running. You're going to have three minutes in between. Um, each, and I'm going to be looking here, so your threshold pace is, uh, that from miles, hold on, you're going to be running about, it's going to be about 20 seconds slower than your, your mile pace, so you'll be at about 640, between 640 and 644 per mile for these, okay, um, with a three minute recovery in between, and you're running as evenly as possible, 1.5 mile cool down, Saturday, eight mile long run, nice and rolling, um, Sunday's an off day. Uh, week six, five miles on Monday, easy. Tuesday, one uh, warm up 1.5, drills and strides, and you're gonna do a four mile fartlek. You're gonna do a four mile block, okay? And you're gonna time this four mile fartlek. In that fartlek, you're gonna run 90 seconds hard, 90 seconds easy, 60 seconds hard, 60 seconds easy, 30 seconds hard, 30 seconds easy, and then you're gonna repeat that as many times as you can until the four mile block is, is over. Where it ends is where it ends, okay? Once you hit four miles, just put the time, see how long it gets, uh, see how far you get, see how long it took you to do the four miles. This is a workout you're going to repeat in a few weeks, so you could check your progress. All right. This is by feel as well, so you could do it on the grass, in the field, and run a park, on the roads. This gives you a chance to kind of develop rhythm and learn rhythm. Okay. 1.5 mile cool down. Bike and swim on Wednesday, 40 to 45 minutes. Seven miles easy on Thursday. So five by 50 meter strides again. Friday, warm up 1.5 miles, drills and strides, six times 1,000 meter, okay, at threshold pace with a one minute recovery. And the threshold pace of the thousands is going to be 414 to 410 per rep, okay? That's your pace range for the 1,000 meter efforts, okay? It's slightly faster than tempo pace, okay, but slower than race pace. So basically in between. But with the short recoveries, it allows you to cover ground and, and work towards improving your threshold and your capacity to handle harder work later on in a non-invasive way. 1.5 mile cool down. These are very important workouts, so alternating that and tempo for this segment. Six miles easy on Saturday, Sunday's off day. Week seven, five miles Monday. Tuesday, warm up 1.5 miles, drills and strides. Two sets of 1,200, 800, 400, so three miles of total running, okay? Your 1,200 meter effort's gonna be a 5K pace, with a three minute recovery, your 800 is going to be a 3K pace with a two minute recovery, and then your 400 is going to be a mile pace. And then you take a six minute recovery after the 400, and you repeat that set again. It's three miles of total hard running at three different paces. Okay? Then a, a 1.5 mile cooldown. 
Seven miles easy Wednesday, six uh, steady Wednesday, excuse me. Six miles easy Thursday with five by 50 minute strides. Friday, 1.5 miles warm up, drills and strides, and you can do a four mile progression run. This is not the fartlek, this is a progression run where each mile gets slightly faster, okay? Uh, you can start towards at your steady pace and work down to your threshold pace or something like that, okay? Uh, maybe go five to ten seconds past, faster per mile. This is a great run to do on a, a somewhat of a regular basis, but I want you to get used to them now in a shorter manner, okay? 1.5 mile cool down. Eight mile long run Saturday, rolling if possible. Sunday, off day. Okay, week eight, five miles on Monday. Uh, 1.5 mile warm up drills and strides Tuesday. A four mile fart like the same exact fart like as you did here. We're going to repeat the same efforts, the same rest periods, and we're going to try to run that fart like slightly faster than you did last time and, and, and calculate the difference between the two. Okay, see where it gets you. 1.5 mile cool down. Bike and swim on Wednesday, 40, 45 minutes. Thursday, seven miles easy, five by 50 meter strides. Friday, 1.5 mile warm up, drills and strides. Now we're going to do three kilometers. Okay, remember how we did two kilometers on week four at, at goal five pace? Now we're going to try to run three kilometers at goal five K pace. So the goal is to go between 11.54 and 12 minutes, under 12 minutes. Okay, and then five to six minutes of active recovery, and then six by 500 meter efforts uh, with a 100 meter jog, very slow, between 5K pace and 3K pace. Work your way a little bit faster. So this is 6,000 meters of total running. Again, you can do over distance. This is a second cycle. You're ready for it, okay? But it's not much over distance, only 1,000 meters more. And then a 1.5 mile, uh, mile cool down. Six miles easy and rolling on Saturday. Sunday's the off day. So this cycle, we introduce a little bit more speed acceleration here each week. And we introduce some more specific workouts. We alternate some fart lick and some race stuff with some tempo and threshold, okay? giving you a little bit of a different training dynamic, okay? Um, so that things don't become stale, but it also sets you up to transition for the last four weeks, which is going to uh, make you the most race ready, okay? Uh, leading up to your goal race. Now you can race in between here, you can run some races and so on and so forth, but this is just a way of setting up the training to get you ready for the race. This also, the 12 week block also sets you up so that you can recover well from this race and run more races afterwards, shorter or longer, okay? You're set up nicely with the speed development and the long runs and so on. Week nine, <clears throat> Monday's always easy, five miles. Tuesday, warm up 1.5 miles, drills and strides. We're gonna do a one mile effort at your goal 5K uh, pace. So 620, about 621, 622, 623, okay? Then you're gonna take a six to eight minute recovery, active, always active, okay? And then three by 800 meters, with a three minute recovery at slightly faster than 5K pace. So you're shooting around 310 for the, for the 800 meter efforts. And then 1.5 mile cool down. Seven miles steady Wednesday, six miles easy on Thursday. We're now we're up in the strides to 100 meters. So we're gonna do four by 100 meter strides. And then we're gonna do Friday, um, 1.5 mile warm up, drills and strides, five by 1200 meter uh, at threshold, which is the same exact pace that you ran the thousands, okay? Um, and in this case, it's going to be uh, 5.05 to 5-minute efforts for the 1200s, okay? Same exact pace, just a little bit longer, with a 75-second recovery. And it's the same volume. It's 6,000 meters, but you're covering more of it now in the threshold zone. So you're staying longer in the threshold zone with each rep, okay? And that's your 200 meters. So that makes a difference, building the threshold. 1.5-mile cool down. 8-mile long run on Saturday, rolling. Sunday's an off day. Week 10. Five miles Monday, Tuesday, 1.5 miles, drills and strides. We're going to run that mile at 5K goal pace again, maybe a few seconds faster. So maybe shoot for 620 or 617, 618 if you can. Six to, six to eight minutes active recovery. And then we're going to do two by 800 meters now. That's slightly faster than the 310 from last week, so maybe 307, 308. So two less reps, okay? But we did have a third rep, but we broke it up into two pieces. We broke it up into two 400s. So we're going to do two eights at around 308, 307 if you can. And then uh, two by 400 meters, okay? And shoot for about you know 90 seconds per uh, per 400 meters if you can, or 130 or 132, somewhere around there. Um, with a 1.5 mile cool down. Bike or swim on Wednesday, 40 to 45 minutes. Seven miles easy Thursday with a four by 100 meter strides. And then f uh, Friday, 1.5 miles drills and strides. You're gonna repeat that four mile progression run from a couple weeks prior. See if it gets a little bit faster. 
okay? You can either star five seconds uh, faster than the first mile than you did last time and follow the same process if you want, okay? 1.5 mile cooldown. Six miles easy on rolling on Saturday, off day Sunday, okay? Got two weeks left. Week 11, five miles on Monday, 1.5 mile warm up, drills and strides on Tuesday. Now we're gonna do a one mile time trial. See how fast you can run a mile. In this case, you should be able to run a 544 to 548, which will indicate you're ready to run sub 20 minutes. You might be able to run faster, that's fine, that's great, okay? After the one mile time trial, you're gonna take an eight minute active recovery, and then we're gonna do two by 800 meter efforts at about 3K pace, okay? So it'd be about 304 to 305. Okay, or not actually 303 to 304. Um, and two by 400 meters with a 75 second recovery at mile pace, okay, which would be about 84 to 85 or 124 to 125, okay. And you're taking 230 in between the 800s, right? 1.5 mile cooldown, okay. Now we're really getting into race mode. Seven miles easy Wednesday, six miles uh, easy on Thursday, four by 100 meter strides. 1.5 mile warm up on Friday. A three mile progression run now after your drills and strides, okay? It's gonna be a little bit shorter than this progression run, but around the same intensity, okay? Um, just to kind of give you an easy uh, second effort for the week, the week before the race that's not as difficult, okay? 1.5 mile cooldown. Six miles easy and mostly flat now on Saturday, okay? We're gonna give the legs a bit of a break. Sunday's the off day, okay? Now, race week, week 12. Four miles easy on Monday. I'm gonna cut you back just a little bit. Okay, we don't want to make drastic cutbacks the week of uh, the week of a race because just like it takes three to four weeks to adjust to improving stimulus, it also takes three to four weeks to adapt to major cutbacks in volume. Last thing you want to do is do a big cutback the week of a race and be completely out of rhythm. Okay, so it's something to keep in mind. Um, Tuesday warm up, 1.5 miles drills and strides, always consistent. Um, five by 800 meter efforts at, with a one minute recovery at threshold pace. In this case, it's going to be I've got them all on my list here. Uh, 322 to 320 per rep, okay? So not too intense, but just something to keep the legs moving, and it won't take your kick out of your leg on, on, on Saturday, okay? And then after your 5 8, 800 meters, you're going to do one 400-meter effort fast, just to simulate finishing in a fast final 400 of your 5K. 1.5-mile cooldown. Bike and swim 35 to 40 minutes, so we'll cut that back a little bit on Wednesday. Your off day this week is going to be Thursday, two days before the race, okay? And the reason why is because taking a day off before the race kind of can, can throw your legs out of rhythm. It doesn't always do that, but it can. I've seen it done before. So by taking the day off two days before, um, it kind of helps uh, give you s uh, some good recovery, but then you can run the following day, three miles easy with three by 15 minutes tries, get your legs back in sync, and then so you're ready to rock on race day, which is 1.5 miles. Drills and strides, the usual warm up protocol. Your goal 5K race, so we're shooting for that sub 20, we're gonna go get it. And then a cool down of 1.5 miles. And I encourage you to run two or three miles the day after the 5K, especially if you run a big PB, just to help flush your legs out. Your legs feel, will feel a little bit heavy. But so this is my 12 week plan. It should put you in a good position to break 20 minutes for a 5K. Okay, let me know what you think. If you have feedback or questions, put them in the comments down below. I respond to all questions, request the videos. Put them in the comments down below, okay? If, especially if you don't see it on my channel already. If you're a coach or a runner um, and you, and you want to learn more about training and see some detailed training programs, make sure you hit the subscribe button and take a look at all my videos. And keep an, uh, keep an eye out in the description down below for a lot of, uh, you'll see my sub 18, 17, 16, and 15, one mile time trial, running your first 5K, how to set up your training for it. How do you know if you're training at the right training pace? They will all be in the description down below. I highly encourage you to watch at least the one mile time trial and setting the right training paces so that you know you're training in the right zone. Very, very important, okay? Other than that, be safe, everybody. Take care of each other, okay? Run smart, and I'll talk to you next time.